Since 1921, a succession of champion footballers clad in red and white have built a proud history. From the days when the great Frank Burge inspired years of excellence at the end of the club's first decade, to the two premiership wins in the 1940s, 11 straight grand final victories. Bath's Babes, four grand finals in the 90s, the joint venture with Illawarra, and more premiership glory under coach Wayne Bennett and captain Ben Hornby. Here is the best of the best. The Dragons team of the century. The greatest 17 to wear the red V in the club's first 100 years. Welcome back. The Dragons team of the century has just been revealed. Let's take a look. And as you can see here, it is an incredible team. Fullback Graham Langlands, Eddie Lumsden and Johnny King are the wingers. Now in the centres, the Gaznias, Reg Gaznia and Mark Gaznia. Brian Clay is 5'8", Billy Smith the halfback. Norm Proven, second row, alongside Rod Reddy and Johnny Raper is the lock. Billy Wilson, Ken Carney and Craig Young in the front row. On the bench, Harry Bath, Doug McGritchie, Neville Smith and Ian Welsh, the team of the century for the St George District Rugby League. Let's cross the Dragons, team of the century inductee, Craig Young. Craig, thanks for joining us. First of all, I mean, how proud are you to be in this team of the century? Well, it's, I'm really speechless. It's a surprise and, and just thinking about, you know, my first thought was about all the teammates who've helped me get what I've achieved in my career and um, this is you know, beyond belief really and uh, I'm so fortunate to be involved with the club for such a long time and uh, yeah, it's, it's a great honour. Albert, when you took over, uh, began at St George, you hadn't played a lot of rugby league. Your first season as a rugby league player, you became an Australian schoolboy, but you were very much part of Bath's Babes and you were part of those teams in 77-79, in the one grand finals. They were very special moments, weren't they? Well, they were. I, I, the only reason I started playing rugby league when I was 16 was because of the first Australian schoolboys team, which was coached by uh, Roy Masters. And, uh, that's the reason I started playing, and um, yeah, and actually I was the last player that, that the great Frank Faces signed before he passed away in '77, and um, and we went on and won the won the comp the first year. Special time. When we look at this team of the century, and there's so many great names, there are four immortals in there: in Langlands, Gaznier, uh, Proven, and Raper. Uh, and, uh, I know a lot of clubs have got a, a very storied history, but, but St George are, are top of the tree, aren't they? Well, they are. It's, 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 you know, they're always one of my favourite sayings, the saying from Frank Facer is, you've got to always look after the ones who dug the well, and in those 50s and 60s, through those 11 premierships, uh, like in world sport, it's never going to happen again. It's, uh, you know, in, in this day and age with salary caps and the like, but yeah, it's just the dream come true that I was fortunate enough to be selected and uh, coached by the great Harry Bath, and uh, I was very fortunate to have good coaches during my career and, and play with good players. You're, uh, you're currently the chairman of the club, you're now the, the prop in the team of the century. What does Sir George mean to you? Well, it's been that a huge part of my life. It's, um, you know, it, it means, you know, about what it means to the fans. We're watching vision here tonight of, of you know, the 50s, 60s and even 70s and the 77 grand final when there's 60 plus thousand. And you've got to think about the fans and, and you know, and their, you know, appetite for success, which is a good thing for the Dragons. It's, you know, we always want success. And, you know, it's taught me a lot. And the, the mates I've, I've had or, or come through the years, and we're still mates today, and that's, that's the most important thing about rugby league. It's whether you play for Australia or it's about your teammates and uh, what you can do for them. And, and they've certainly done a lot for me. Well, Craig, uh, what an honour, what an achievement. You should be proud. Congratulations and, and well done. Thanks very much. Thank you. There he is, Craig Young, the, in the 
in the side, team of the century for the Dragons as prop. What a, what a team. What, what a team this is, Kenty. Yeah, Unbelievable. Magnus. That would have been hard to pick it. Yeah, look, I was, as I said at the start of the show, break, there's a lot of... A lot of look, in every position there was a, a great deal of depth. So it was a real process to get through uh, some of the players. Obviously, Craig Young, I will say for people at home, he was part of the selection committee. And when it came to the props, he excused himself from the room. But he was obviously a, a natural to be picked there. But the thing I liked about that interview there, Braith, He's a very proud man, he's a very staunch man, mm. but you could see how deeply this has affected him and you can see how deeply the club means to him. Mm. It, it is... And, and it highlights what rugby league can do for people. As he said, he was a young kid. They announced they're going to bring in an Australian schoolboys team. He was 16 years old, so he thought... He, he was a soccer player. His father was a soccer player. Mm. His father played for Australia in soccer. And he said, I'm going to go and play rugby league. Mm. Made the Australian schoolboys his first season and... That was 1972. Yeah. Here we are in 2022. We're 50 years later, and he's still getting a lifetime out of rugby league. It's uh, yeah, it's a great game. Well, see, Kenty, I think Craig Young epitomises the Dragons 100%. and that team. What an effort and what a team.